Hi, I'm Kirby with Augustine E-Bikes. My friend Ian called me up and asked me to help him convert his 26-inch cruiser into an e-bike. So I recommended a 1,200-watt front hub motor along with a 48-volt, 17.5-amp battery. Mm -hmm. I got it at the hardware store. Uh-huh. You know, you put it down. Right, right, right. To garden that I just cut up and, um, and painted. And it's pretty thick. Yeah. I went to Ian's house to help walk him through the installation process. We began by attaching the battery to the upper tube using hose clamps and gardening pads as a shock absorber. Once installed, we changed out the battery connectors. Then we installed the controller onto the top tube, making the connection with the battery. Ian then flipped the bike over to replace the front wheel with the hub motor and make sure it was secured properly. Once he had made sure that the motor had a tight fit, it was time to install the S830 LCD control display and make connections to the controller and to the motor. Now there are 10 important functions that are controlled by the S830, everything from maximum speed to wheel size. So it's really important to follow the manual and make sure that the settings are correct. This down. Woo! Look at you. Okay. Look at you, Mr. Electric. Now what we're going to have to do, you should be able to, given the current settings, we're going to change all the settings. But uh, for the moment, if you want to lift the bike. Once everything was connected properly, it was time to give it a test and a quick road test. What's it going up to? Uh, we're at 30.8. Okay, that's not bad for a start. How's it feel? Pretty good, huh? Did you open it up all the way? Yeah. Nice, man. Yeah. Away? Yeah.